Hello everyone, meet the newest addition to the channel, Trucky McBarely Fits in the Garage. Official name, coming soon, I do have a couple of ideas, I just gotta test it out more. This is the first night with the vehicle, and aside from being thrilled to have it and mind blown, my wheels are already turning, and as you can tell, fingerprints will definitely be an issue. So, when we get on the Google machine and search for handles, we immediately come across all of these, and they're almost all around 50 bucks. So, I think it's time to put the 3D printer to work. Now, let's head over to Bamboo Labs and their marketplace and see if we could find anything. And, oh my MG, this is adorable. I think I need it in my life. Anyways, search for <laughs> there it is again okay now it's starting to become crucial to my happiness but for right now let's search for cybertruck handles and actually these very first ones look absolutely perfect okay yeah let's give these a go Now that we have the files, you do have to rotate them on the very first try, but here's a preview of how they look, and I personally think they look terrific. I'll leave a link down below just in case you're interested in printing them out yourself. Now that we have the machine going, it's going to take us roughly an hour and a half for two of the pieces, and I'm already super excited to see the final outcome. This was my first attempt printing them, and I think they came out amazing. Super sturdy and smooth all the way around. The only thing I wasn't a fan of is how green it is. Not my favorite. So what I did is ordered a lighter filament, which also glows in the dark. Then I added toy box to the top just to personalize it a little bit. Now. The only thing we need to do is apply some 3M tape, which I ordered from Amazon, then cut the strips, apply it here and here, attach it to the vehicle, and we'll be good to go. Let's get after it. On to installing the handles. So it turns out that for this design, I didn't need to attach any of this tape here at all. It's only connected by this longer strip here. And after following this curb down, the handle will be placed on this longer stretch down here. There's a ton of space inside, so it won't be scratching or crashing into anything at all when closing the door. So we will be attaching it in here just like this. Before attaching anything, we do want to make sure to clean the surface area, removing any dust or whatever else might be on there that could make it more difficult for the tape to stick. So we want to make sure that it's all nice and pretty, and now we sit back and let it dry for a little while. Now that it's all ready and dry, we take the seal off, begin to line it up. Once you're happy, Start pressing down, apply a lot of pressure, make sure it's nice and tight, and there you go. <laughs> Those look great already. Before pulling on it and shutting the door, I wanted to run a quick test and see how they look glowing. So, I'm going to turn one of the lights off. Okay, that's pretty cool. The other light is on a timer. So, I'm just going to calmly sit still for a little while until we go full dark. Okay, I can see they're slowly dimming. It should be any second now. The anticipation is killing me. And... Oh, wow. 
That looks awesome. I love it already. <laughs> That's great. Okay, now that the lights are back on, we have toy box here and I should have flipped the words around, but I can always do that on the next version. Now to test it out, they do feel insanely stuck on there. Like a glove. Now that we have the door shut, you can slightly see them through the gap, but not very much at all. Now that they're on, you officially wouldn't have to touch it either here or here. You can just grab it, pull, and bam, they work perfectly. Two thumbs up, zero complaints. So, let's give this another quick run. Grab it, pull it, done. It's perfect. Well, that's it for this one. I truly hope you enjoyed it. I am insanely pumped to get to work on the Cybertruck. There's already a ton of things that I want to do, beginning with taking off that goofy little mirror. So if you're interested, please subscribe to the channel so we can keep growing together. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Take care.